welcome back to my channel y'all today today we are doing something very far outside of my comfort zone i'm about to do something with my hair that i have literally never done before i bought a wig <laughs> okay i see women wearing these wigs on social media all the time they look amazing for me i'm not your typical i'm not a wig girl period but today I just want to give it a try. I want to see what it would look like. I just want to try something new and just basically see what happens. So I bought a wig cap. And again, this is very new to me. I don't know anything about wigs, but here we are. Um, then I also bought, well, oh, it came with a wig cap as well. So I have two different types of wig caps and this is a wig. We're doing a headband wig because I absolutely cannot handle like the the cutting and the blending and the, all that but yeah here she is so this package oh my gosh this is so cute okay so the place that I bought the wig from everything came in this cute little like satin pouch they sent eyelashes which is cute these are not not exactly my style but maybe I will add to the giveaway pile for you guys for like a glam girl oh yeah these came in the pouch as well as these cute headbands aren't these so super cute okay so I literally haven't taken the wig out yet and actually looked at it I literally just bought this on Amazon supposedly it is a human hair wig so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know y'all. I don't know what I'm doing, but I figure why not? Why not try it? And of course with my YouTube fam. So let's see. Here she is. Oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> okay, first of all, she has a really ugly flip up situation going on right now. So we're gonna have to fix that for sure. It does feel really soft and it does feel Kind of like human hair which is like freaking me out a little bit <laughs> but she's nice she's cute it's um i decided to go with like a short length oh my god who am i about to put this on um so yeah headband wig as you can see here and then from my understanding you kind of just you know after you put on <laughs> the wig cap you just velcro it in the back oh my god I feel like this is gonna give me an identity crisis. <laughs> but how fun, right? How fun to switch it up and do something a little different. Okay, all right, all right. Let's get this party started. I have this very creepy thing which we are going to use as a wig head today. Um, you're probably wondering, Alyssa, why the hell do you have this? I have a very clear answer. So my mom owned a jewelry company, and so this is what she would use to kind of style her jewelry sometimes. And so I'm using it as a wig head today. So everybody welcome Gladisha to the class. <laughs> so creepy, it's so creepy looking. Oh, hold on, let me Velcro this. I am gonna need to add some curls. I'm gonna need to add some curls. I'm gonna need to add some volume and this like <laughs> There's not even a gradient here. It's just like <clears throat> so we have a couple things to do um, But I'm just gonna kind of put her on the side for a little bit and first we got to start by prepping my hair all right, so Actually, I need to go and get supplies. What do we need? I need to wet my hair, I need hair ties, and possibly a brush, I will be right back. All right, here we go. So basically to prep my hair for the wig, I just want to kind of get rid of it as much as possible. So I'm actually gonna do it the lazy way. <laughs> if I wasn't being lazy, then I would like part it, and comb it all out, and then like flat twist it all the way back, but I'm just gonna instead. I am just gonna part it in two still, but then just like pull it back and maybe do like two pigtails, braid them, and then pin them in the back. And that should hopefully get us flat enough to not look crazy. So I'm just gonna start by spraying my hair with water. I can't believe that I'm actually doing this. <laughs> but like I'm really at this point with my hair where, first of all, one, it is very long right now to me. Like this is, 
Ugh, a lot of hair, a lot of length. That has definitely led me to experiment with my hair a lot more. And that's how we're here today with me about to put a wig on my head. I'm still very much in that old school frame of mind when it comes to wigs, like, you know, the wigs that grandmas would wear and you'd find them in the closet and it's like super creepy and just like, ew. Now, don't get me wrong. I I love to see the girly slay a good wig because I do know, like, intellectually, I know that wigs nowadays, like, they have come a long way and some of them look really, really good, really natural, like you can't even clock them. But I don't know, when it comes to me being like, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy a wig to, like, have in my house and, like, use on my hair, like, that is, like... I don't know, it's just like way, way outside of my comfort zone. So I don't know, who knows? Maybe this is the beginning of my, you know, future wig obsession. Who, who knows, right? You don't know until you actually try. So yeah, we're just gonna go right along and see how this comes out. I'm like trying to braid my hair and get it prepped really quickly because I'm literally so like, eager to see how this comes out oh you guys i also did want to address the whole mother's day q a on here um i appreciate y'all so much for sending in your questions and stuff we did sit down and film it for those who you know didn't see any of my updates we did sit down and film it and i did start to edit it but i realized that it just didn't come out the way i wanted it to like the vibe of it was just not like I really rushed it and I was like come on we gotta get this out now so let's just like sit here and blah 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 but like I really think like a vibe with us like sitting in the couch like lounging where you can kind of see more of our full bodies and like I guess like get into more body language and stuff I don't know I just feel like it will be more vibey we'll have more time to like prep and to get like a lot more questions from y'all but all that I was just like you know what Instead of just pushing myself to edit something and put something out that I'm feeling like not great about, I'm just gonna wait until we can really do it really nicely, great vibes, so that I can feel amazing when we put it out because it will be amazing and it will be coming and I did save all the questions and y'all will have another chance to ask additional questions in the future. But yeah, that would be why there was no video last week. Hopefully this is gonna be flat enough because one thing you don't want is like a lumpy looking wig. <laughs> Let me know in the comments actually, have any of you guys worn a wig? Like are y'all wig girlies? Or are y'all kind of like me and like experiencing like wi a wig for the first time kind of like with me? Let me know because I am curioso. You know what? A wig is actually a really great idea as well. Like if you did want to experiment as a curly girl with straight hair, or just other hairstyles, like a wig is a great way to do it without damaging your own hair, so that's good. So now that I have these super cute uh, pigtails, <laughs> I'm laughing because we would call these like doo doo plots or doo doo braids back in high school in Cayman. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go and, oh my gosh, I'm sure this part looks really crazy, but I'm just gonna take them like this and then kind of bobby pin them here. And this is as flat as we're gonna get. Did y'all notice that I beat my face? Like, this is such a cute look, something like cute, different, light work, you know, but still cute, because I wanted to make sure that I felt cute while I'm potentially having an identity crisis with this wig on. <laughs> oh, this thing is small. All right, so I guess you just kind of put it on. Okay, your girl has a wig cap on. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, <laughs> this is just so different for me. But again, at least my face is looking really cute. Okay, now that we got the cap on, I kind of just want to put the wig on and just see what it looks like. So we're gonna experience this together. First time ever putting on a wig. So it's got these like clip thingies. So I'm gonna just, where do I put that with the cap on? Do I just put it like under the cap? So, y'all, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, ready, set, go. <laughs> oh my God. 
Wait, why does it feel like this is not fitting? Is my head too big? Oh, you gotta pull this shit down. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, wigs are tight. Wait, nobody told me that. Ow, something is sticking me in the back. I have on a wig. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Let's use this. <laughs> I'm scared to show y'all the back because what is going on? What is going on? Who am I right now? I like, I am gonna need a wig alter ego name, like right now. <laughs> what? I'm scared to show y'all the back because like I, I feel, oh, oh, it actually doesn't look too bad. We gotta fix this cut a little bit and maybe style her, but you guys, I cannot take myself seriously like this. Not me flipping it. <laughs> All right, I think I should be able to heat style this. It feels so weird to have straight hair. All I can do is run my fingers through it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I kind of don't want to take it off now. So maybe I will just style it with it on my head. Did we see what it looks like with this headband on? She's kind of cute. <laughs> I am having an identity crisis, definitely. I feel uncomfy. All right, I'm gonna take this off. Whew. Also, wigs are hot. Let's style her, let's cut her, we'll curl her up and see what kind of final result we end with. Okay, so believe it or not, I do actually own a flat iron. Not one that I bought, I did receive this in PR from GHD, it's the GHD Platinum Plus uh, one inch smart styler. So, this is what we're gonna use to give her a vibe. We need some volume up in here, okay? All right, so I plug this in, but, oh yes, okay, it is getting hot, but I am not seeing where to control the heat. Like there's literally nothing other than this on button inside. There's no other like buttons to control the level of heat. It has been like six years since I've used a flat iron. <laughs> That's really crazy. And I didn't know that the ones nowadays make noise and don't have temperature control settings. Okay, let's just see what happens. Oh, it's working though, it's working, okay. She's cute. Oh wait, hold on. I'm actually having fun, you guys. I'm actually having fun. This is fun. I'm really just gonna go through and add some curls. Look at her. Oh, look at these curls, waves, whatever you wanna call them. Um, I am having a lot of fun with this. Uh, as a curly girl, we are so limited in what we can do with our hair. Our hair is very, fragile and if you heat style it too often or too much or even in some cases just one time you risk damaging your entire head of hair and having to like probably chop all over again so i am actually really really enjoying like getting to style with a flat iron right now that's fun this is fun i might need to get me some more wigs because what new list every day with the wigs on sleigh Hey, <laughs> I would love to go to someone, get a legit wig, like get my hair properly braided down, get a cute little wig like every once in a while. Like, you know how I do um, like braids every once in a while, like get like a, a cute wig every once in a while or for like a special occasion or something. Y'all, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I am supposedly trying to give it a fringe. Yes, okay. I just wanna give her some layers. I'm like so used to having volume and body. All right, these are gonna slice through it like butter. Yes. This was fun. This is cute. I feel like I wanna try a longer wig. 
I feel like the length of this wig, the cut of this wig is kind of like awkward-ish. She's cute, like she's cute, she's passable. She's passable, but she is a little awkward taco. She, she it's, it's awkward. Let me try it with a headband. Like I feel like it's a little cuter with the headband. Oh yeah, this is giving um, vacay mommy. I just wanna take you on a holiday, mommy. We're here, we have arrived. We have arrived at a destination called This is the absolute best that I could do here today right now. What do we think? What do we think? I'm gonna come up a little closer. So these are the curls that we added in. I have like my little edges just kind of poking out a little bit with the headband that came with the wig. So in terms of this wig and this exact style, I kind of feel like I want a longer wig. I want a longer wig, a bigger wig with more volume. Like I'm talking Beyonce long, like Beyonce vibes, that kind of thing. I think I would love to try that kind of wig next. For this to be my first like wig experience, I, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This is actually so much fun. I was really nervous. Can I tell y'all a little secret? Okay, I ordered this wig a long time ago. It's been sitting down at least for a month just here because I've been nervous to do it, feeling like, I don't know, like, oh, this is gonna be weird. But you know how they say, like, the greatest things happen outside of your comfort zone? I feel like that's what happened today. I just had so much fun just, like, playing around with it, styling it, butchering it, cutting all the hair off like this. That was fun for me and like getting to switch my look up, I thought it would make me feel uncomfy, but instead like with the whole like kind of look together, even though this is not necessarily my style, I just, the idea of getting to switch your look up a little bit and play around a little bit whenever you want to without having to damage your natural hair is everything to me and I'm actually... I'm actually really excited. I think when I get like a legit wig that I'm like, ooh, I wanna be able to style this at home, like with the melted edges and all that stuff, I want to like go to a professional who will order the wig, put it on and teach me how to put it on and stuff and have her cut and style it the way I want it. So that way I have like a professional wig that I have at home to like slip on whenever I need it. This was too much fun. This cannot be the last time I do something like this. I actually really thought that I was gonna just put this on and be like, uh, nope, okay. That was that, it was fun while I tried it. Poof, gone, goodbye. But now I'm starting to think like, I think I get it now. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get why the girls have 10 wigs. I really, really wanna hear from y'all, so. First of all, if you are a wig girly, you know the details, comment below or if you know like another influencer who is like really good in details with like super high quality wig videos, tag them in the comments. I'm going to probably dive in a little bit more to the whole wig thing and switching up my look a little bit more because this was fun. Also, comment below and let me know if you're like me and this is like your first time ever exploring something and if you would be interested in kind of seeing me potentially explore other wigs, other ways to switch up my look and stuff. Let me know like if you guys would enjoy something like that because it's like a whole new version or a whole new part of my natural hair journey. I guess we wouldn't say natural, but it could just be an extension of my hair journey in general and just having more fun with it. I just, that's the part that I like. It was fun and it was exciting and my natural hair is nice and safe and healthy underneath. But yeah guys, meet me in the comments. We can definitely chat a little bit more there and then I will catch y'all next week for another video, baby.